Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Creams of Vutten, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, a volcano in Iceland. Evidently, the scientists are watching because it's going to erupt very soon. The uh, threat level was raised on October 1st and using Google Earth, here we can see the uh, volcano and the ice that's over um, a lake that's hidden underneath the glacier. It has a major eruption anywhere between 150 and 200 years, with smaller eruptions anywhere between 5 to 10 years. So the chances of a large eruption is small, but the deformation right now is more than the major eruption it had in 2011. USGS does not list any earthquakes for this location in the last week, but Volcano Discovery does list them. You can see majority of the earthquakes has been down by the southeast location of this volcano. And what they have for depth of earthquakes um, only goes back to Wednesday, October 7th. What is concerning is they say that the ground deformation has exceeded the levels seen before the 2011 eruption. Based on the pattern observed in past eruptions, an intense swarm of earthquakes lasting a few hours, 1 to 10 hours, will signal that magma is moving towards the surface and that an eruption is imminent. Now, I've talked about how any volcano can erupt within a matter of hours with little or no warning. And here it says 1 to 10 hours of tremors could indicate that the uh, volcano is ready to erupt. And then I think about other volcanoes such as Yellowstone. Now, Greens Button appears to have a pattern of infrequent large eruptions that occur every 150 to 200 years. Past eruptions have happened in 2011, 1873, and 1619. So the next eruption, they're hoping, will be a small one. Grimsvutten is Iceland's most frequent erupting volcano, and over the past 800 years has had some 65 eruptions. That's just the eruptions that they know of. In 1783 through 1784, this is the location of a fissure that opened up. I may bring this out. You really can't see the lava that flowed out during that eruption. And they know that Grimsvutten is that it can have that a, a hair trigger response to pressure. This happens when melted lake water drains and the removal of the water from across of the top of the volcano rapidly decreases pressure. And then, of course, it would erupt. The melted water from the top of the volcano, they know that can travel very rapidly, about 28 miles or 45 kilometers. Wiping out bridges and roads, it would probably move to the south, the melted water. But people in that area would probably have enough of a notice and warning where they would close the roads and bridges. Um, this has happened in the past. This volcano is extraordinarily high. And as it melts, the overlying ice and produces a hidden subglacial lake of melted water. This glacial lake is 328 feet deep or 100 meters. And as you can see on Google Earth, Grimsvitten lies almost wholly beneath the ice. And the only permanently visible part of the volcano is an old ridge on the south side which forms the edge of a large caldera or crater and it is along the base of this ridge. You can see it here on Google Earth. Now when it had its major eruption in 2011 it sent ash about uh, 20 kilometers or 12 miles into the atmosphere causing the cancellation of about 900 um, flights of different airlines. In comparison, a smaller eruption from another volcano, I'll show you that one, that led to the cancellation of about 100,000 flights. So here's the area of the current uh, coming eruption, and we'll zoom into this other volcano, which is down south. See that right there? Yeah, 
and I'll bring it back out and we'll go back up to the other what's happening so that's the other volcano which canceled about a hundred thousand flights and this is the newest threat on uh, sciencealert.com they had a notification about this too and being such an active volcano it gives uh, the volcanologists a great opportunity to learn more about eruptions of volcanoes there's four different um, notifications for alert levels for volcanoes would be green yellow orange and red and this one's currently at yellow but they may have a uh, little warning of when it goes off anywhere is between one to ten hours depending on the earthquake activity so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you for watching please stay safe and i will talk to you later god bless you Bye.